The National Guard over the past 15 years has become an operational force. Um, we're used every day around the world in uh, full spectrum combat operations, um, as well as in the Homeland Mission for to, to help in case of disaster, whether natural or man-made disasters, the National Guard is, is there. And what this does is help maintain our skills, our military skills, so we can do that wartime mission. And that's the great thing about the National Guard is the National Guard is, is able to do its wartime mission, and from that, we become available for, for the governor, for Governor Snyder, if he needs to grab and use the capabilities that the National Guard has uh, to come and help the people of Michigan uh, in time of need. Mm -hmm. It's an exercise for, to maintain the operational readiness and training of Air National Guard units um, and some of our international partners, the Canadians and Latvians. It's a, it's a uh, rather large exercise done here at uh, Alpena. This is the second year it's been done. synchronizes a lot of different components of the military. Not just air, not just army, not just US, but but it's international, it's it's uh, it's joint as in not, you know, multiple components from the United States military. They all come together and they're able to synchronize their activities in a, in a sense here at Alpena Training Center. And um, you know, they're able to, to come together prepare to, to do the mission. If, if you look out on the ramp and you see the various different kinds of airplanes all here at once, um, it really maximizes the training um, that you get. And that's what you want to do in today's budget, you know, constricted environment is you want to spend every dollar and get as much training for it as you can. And that's what you can do here at Alpena. Um, for one, as you know, the, the military has been at war for the last 15 years, uh, at least, and, and some would argue longer than that uh, if you go back to the first Gulf War. Um, and we have been so focused on fighting that particular kind of war, that, that war that we're in now, there's lots of other aspects of, of warfare or that we need to try and train and practice on. So this enables us to open up and not just fight one specific kind, but train for the more broader spectrum of contingencies we might face as a military. So that's one reason. The next reason is, um, you know, as deployments and operations decrease, um, you know, where we would spend uh, time exercising to get ready to go fight uh, in Afghanistan or Iraq. Um, now it's more important to focus on, okay, so what are the opportunities we have to maintain our readiness? And, and this is one of those. As we all come together here, we can create the scenario of some potential conflict and then come together and train. And uh, it really is uh, quite a unique opportunity to be able to do that here at the training center. Alpena's got everything. Um, it's got airspace, it's got access to, to water for maritime operations, it's got um, our own runway that we control you know, from, uh, from an airspace. It's, not, it's located in such a place that it doesn't conflict with major airline hub traffic going in and out. Um, you know, as I, I realize, it's, it's one of the biggest training centers we have, um, really, in all of the military to use here. Uh, supersonic capability, high altitude capability. And uh, those, those kinds of, of opportunities are really national resources as more people and airplanes flying around. Having a place like this where you can come and train and you own the, own the airspace is, uh, is something valuable to, to the military at large, not just the Guard, not just, not just Michigan, but really for the nation.